Weathering the storm that is day Z is never easy, but there are ways to help. One of these long term ways is building yourself a base, and here I'll show you exactly how to make them with as little complication as possible. I'll also show you how to make a flagpole, and then I'll explain some optional base extras at the end that you might find useful. If you liked the video or find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, it really helps me out, you have no idea. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh Ah, there's another one. Damn it. Whoa. Will somebody close that damn door? Wait. I don't mean you. There are two main types of construction, each with multiple stages of assembly. A watchtower, which can be built up two floors, and a fence, which is capable of being turned into a gate. The tools you'll need for these two basic structures are a shovel, or something similar such as a garden hoe or pickaxe, a hammer or hatchet, and pliers if you intend to make a gate. Furthermore, I'd recommend a saw and an axe to aid in resource gathering because you're going to need a lot of wood. So. Let's start with the fence. The first thing you need is a fence kit. To craft this, combine two sticks with some rope. This will produce the fence kit. Then, with it in hand, you'll be given the option to place it down. Keep in mind you'll always be on the inside of the fence, so you'll always be building looking out. Once placed, you'll need to build a foundation. This requires two logs and a shovel. Approach the fence kit with the two logs, attach them to the fence kit as so, and then use the shovel to interact with it and then start building your foundation. If you're unsure where to find logs, they can be acquired by chopping down large trees. Once you have your foundation, you'll need to build your frame. This frame has to be built in two sections, the lower frame and the upper frame. For each section, you'll need four wooden planks and eight nails. You'll also need a hammer and hatchet. In fact, you'll need a hammer or hatchet for any assembly parts in this entire video that uses nails. If you're unsure where to get wooden planks, you can either cut logs using a saw or find one of these pallets often found around construction sites and other non-residential areas and use a saw on them. Once you have your frame, you'll need to build your wall. This wall also has to be built in two sections, the lower wall and the upper wall. For each section, you'll need five wooden planks and ten nails, then you'll have a single completed fence piece. Any fence piece can be turned into a gate. For a gate, add metal wire to any fence piece and then approach it with some pliers. This will turn the fence into a gate which you can open by approaching it and interacting with it. This will also allow you to add a code lock to stop anyone from entering without the code. To set the code you want, scroll through the numbers with it in your hand to whatever number you want to set it to and then attach it to the base. This will then automatically shuffle the numbers only unlocking when the right combination is entered. Using this ability to build a fence, you'll be able to build your base in a variety of places. Just set up your fence building kit and then add your supplies. You can block off large sheds, small houses or even entire facilities. Furthermore, you can build a platform and stairs, adding it to your fence, allowing you to peek over to either fire at approaching raiders or check who's knocking. Next, I'll show you how to build a watchtower. This is very similar to the fence, though there are some notable differences, mostly an increase in required resources. Firstly, you'll need to build a watchtower kit. This requires four sticks and one rope. Similar to the fence, equip it and place it anywhere you want. Then you'll need to build your foundation, which requires four logs and a shovel. Next, build a lower and upper frame using four planks and eight nails for each of its two sections. This will have to be repeated two times. Once this is completed, you'll need to build an upper and a lower wall using 5 planks and 10 nails for each of its two sections, again repeating this two times. You'll also need to build the top panel. This will take 10 planks and 20 nails, although it will probably be referred to as the floor on the options. Now is the time you should build the stairs. This will require 10 planks and 20 nails and should allow you to reach the next floor. From here, you can repeat the process two more times to add floors. However, you will no longer need a shovel when building the foundation from this point on. Instead, you'll now need a hammer or hatchet for any floors above ground level. Once you build it up an additional two floors, the last piece of the watchtower is the roof. This can be crafted with six metal sheets, five planks and 20 nails. This will complete your watchtower, adding this cool slanted roof to it. To build a flagpole, a requirement for some servers, this entails more tools and construction supplies than the fence and the watchtower. Similar to the previous builds, start by combining rope with three sticks to create a flagpole kit, placing it in your desired location once you put it to your hands. Next, you'll need to work on its foundation, which has two stages. The first stage requires a log and a sledgehammer. The second stage requires 32 large stones, a further six logs, and a shovel. This will give you your flagpole's base. To create 
the pole itself, add an additional 3 lugs, 60 nails, rope and metal wire. Then using a hammer or hatchet, click build. This will complete your flagpole. Now you can attach any flag you find and raise it by approaching and pressing the interact button. If you need a flag, there are a few places but my go to is the hunter's shack. You can find many different flags here but be warned some community servers may require you have a specific one. Here's a few building tips before we move on to the extra options. Firstly, the kits are reusable. So once you build your foundation for, say, the fence, you'll then be able to pick it back up and set it up again for another panel. Next, although the hammer and hatchet are similar in terms of buildability, a hatchet will allow you to dismantle as well as build, meaning you can dismantle a section if you decide you want a window in, say, a watchtower. When building with the fence kit, always make sure you can build every piece you need before committing to laying a foundation, even if this means picking up and replacing the fence kits in different areas. Sometimes you think you can build somewhere, but a slight incline or piece of furniture will get in the way and ruin your construction as you're halfway through it. Now, there are extras you can add to your base and some of them are way more useful than others and here I'll mention them. Firstly, when building your walls, you can add metal sheets instead of planks in a variety of combinations, creating a full metal or part metal fence. In addition to this, barbed wire can be added to fences and watchtowers with pliers, adding cut damage to anyone who collides with them. Furthermore, a camo net, such as the one I'm holding here, can not only be used to increase your base's stealth and cosmetics, but you can also use it to create a window allowing you to look out discreetly. For example, if I ever build a base inside of a house, I build a foundation in front of any windows I don't want to block and then attach a camo net. This makes it very difficult for other players to see in unless they're right next to it, but allows me to see them with ease. Just keep the lights off at night. As for the inside of your base, most people add tents, chests and barrels because they provide such great storage, but you can also add things like an improvised shelter and lights. Speaking of lights, to hook up a power generator to some lights, specifically the construction lights, firstly place the power generator within a few meters of where you want your lights to be. Add a spark plug to it and fill it with fuel. Then approach it holding your construction light. You should be given the option to plug in. Once plugged in, you'll be able to maneuver the light around and choose where to place it. But keep an eye on the holographic placement. If you go too far from the generator, the wire will appear to wrap around the light stalk as so. Make sure the wire hangs through the floor before placing it down. Once placed, turn both the generator and light on and you should have a working system. There are many places you can build a base and if anybody wants any suggestions or a video on it let me know one of the reasons bases are so good is because they let you store cars in them and if you want more information on how to find fix and drive a car just click here and as always until next time